Tonight in Portland, Oregon, a city stunned but exhausted, bracing for the possibility of more violence. Overnight running street battles between protesters and local police. The office of the Portland Police Association set on fire. Unmarked federal agents with no insignia other than police spray tear gas and beat back protesters. President Trump addressed the protests on Fox News Sunday. If we didn't take a stand in Portland, you know, we've arrested many of these leaders. If we didn't take that stand, right now you would have a problem like, you know, you, they were going to lose Portland. Who are you? This is Portland's mayor argues video showing federal agents pulling a protester into an unmarked van has made the situation worse. Ted Wheeler's also the city's police commissioner. The situation was definitely de-escalating here in the city of Portland. Federal troops came in last Saturday and they blew the whole thing up when they started attacking nonviolent demonstrators. Department of Homeland Security memo leaked to the New York Times warns the agents need training. The memo reads, moving forward, if this type of response is going to be the norm, specialized training and standardized equipment should be deployed to responding agencies. The DHS has no immediate comment. The department says they send agents to protect federal property. NBC News has not verified the contents of the memo. For six weeks, the city has endured nightly violence. Protests triggered by the death of George Floyd and concentrated around a small area of law enforcement buildings. Protester Beverly Barnum says they will be back tonight. We can't turn a blind eye forever. I guess our families matter and we need to protect them. But we essentially all are family. Our community is our family, and we have to take care of each other. Aaron, Oregon is suing the federal government. Is that lawsuit still moving forward? Kate, it is. Oregon's attorney general is seeking a temporary restraining order to stop what she argues are unlawful arrests by federal agents. She could be in federal court as soon as tomorrow. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.